Hey Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading for mid-October to the end of October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. In Capricorn, and it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Alright, Capricorn, let's see, what is going on for you? Second half of October. All right, we have mute. Okay, so apparently there has either been some ghosting that has taken place or somebody is just being quiet in this connection. So let's see what this is about. This could be you, this could be your person, maybe the both of you kind of did this simultaneously. It doesn't really matter. Point is, at the moment, there's not much communication. So let's see, Capricorn. All right, Cappy, let's see, what is going on here? For the situation, we have the Two of Wands crossed by the Page of Swords. Yeah, so there's a lot of, I feel like there's procrastination when it comes to communication. Like there is somebody here who does want to communicate, could be you, could be them, could be the both of you. I feel like it's really like in that person's hands or even the both of you, like you both have that control, like you both could if you wanted. Um, so I don't feel like it's necessarily um, like both of you having blocked each other. So maybe just one of you. Um, but I feel like, yeah, there's definitely this ability to be able to communicate, but somebody's holding back. So it's not even that this person doesn't want to, whoever this is. Um, it's just a holding back, knowing that they could. Um, let's... Let's see the rest of them. Okay, so for the recent past, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so some grief here. Um, a, a sense of loss, some sadness, all right, that happened recently. In your energy, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Fool in reverse. I don't know what's going on here with you, Capricorn. I feel like there's... Um, it does feel like you're holding back. You're holding back from, from taking some kind of an action. But at the same time, you're also releasing some fears or you're releasing some kind of an attachment that you might have had to this connection that was keeping you stuck. So it, um, we'll, see, we'll see when we clarify. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Let's see for them. For them, we have the world in reverse and the eight of cups. All right, so this person is trying to walk away from a situation here that's not that's not complete though. And what I mean by not complete, I mean that, you know, th this isn't done. This isn't done. There is something that is unresolved. The cycle hasn't closed. Um, like it's still there, it's still open, but they're kind of turning their back to it anyway. So I don't know how long that's gonna last if the cycle is not closed out. Um, we do have judgment, though, showing up in the near future, so this is actually um, pretty positive here. It's very, very positive because this, is, this can be a wake-up call. This is truth coming in. Um, I do see this also as being communication. It's like somebody's blowing the horn here, like, hey, you know, we need to address this. It's that kind of an energy. Um, but then for the potential outcome, we do have the Nine of Cups in, in reverse. So I feel like somebody is not is not getting their wishes 100% fulfilled. I don't think that's you because you have this Eight of Swords here in reverse. Um, we'll see. Let's clarify. Capricorn. Let's see this Two of Wands with the Page of Swords. Okay. The 
Three of Cups in reverse, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is a connection where there is a lot of love here. There's definitely a lot of love. I, I actually feel like the fact that there is so much love here is what is also making certain things um, that's happening here. It's making the whole thing more difficult, more difficult to manage. Um, there has definitely been a fallout here, okay, with this Three of Cups being in reverse. It's like, you know, when maybe things at some point, you know, they were happy, they were lighthearted, that, that came to an end, um, obviously, because we also have this Five of Cups in the recent past. For some of you, there could have been a third party here that was involved, which could have um, kind of um, gotten in between you and this other person. Um, I'm not blaming the third party, okay? It's, it's, that's irrelevant. Um, I'm just saying that that kind of came between the two of you, some third energy, and even though there is still love here. So I don't know exactly what happened. It doesn't have to be that for all of you, okay? I'm just getting that for some of you. But there was definitely this ending when it came to things being light, things being fun, things being happy. And at the moment, whoever it is that's really holding back from communicating, it's not easy. This person is actually putting in effort to not communicate. Okay, and that could even be you, but I don't think it's you. I feel like it's the other person because you have the Fool in reverse here and the Eight of Swords in reverse, which I will get to just in a second. So let's see. Let's see that Eight of Swords in reverse. All right, um, we have the Magician in reverse, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so here's what you are getting yourself unstuck from, okay? Um, I feel like you were in this place where because you kept thinking about um, taking some kind of action or what kind of action can I take, you know, how can I move this forward, um, what is it that I can do? Like you were feeling like, you know, there was something you could do to manifest this communication or to manifest this um, relationship or connection, just, you know, be being more fulfilling or whatever. You are releasing that energy of feeling like you want to take some action towards this. That's what you are releasing. That is what is getting you unstuck. We have the magician in reverse. Okay, so you you were realizing that, you know what? Like, it's not even in your hands, you know, what this person does. It's like you're just completely releasing that. You don't want to manipulate the situation. You don't want to be the one to actually um, be the one to, to take initiative. When you were in, when you were thinking about taking initiative, that was actually holding you back because you kept thinking about, okay, what? maybe I can do it this way. Maybe I can do it that way. Maybe if I post this, you know, it'll get this person to see it and um, then they'll want to reach out or, you know, whatever, whatever the case is. Okay, these are just some silly examples that I'm giving here. And so you've come to this understanding that, you know, um, the only way that you can actually be self-reliant and be independent of this is to fully let that go, to not do anything. So really what you're letting go of is that attachment, okay? Nine of Pentacles in reverse here. As long as you were in that energy, that was keeping you from being independent. And that's what you are releasing now. So we don't even need to clarify that that fool in reverse. This is this is you, like not not taking any energy. Just had the hermit um flip over as well for you here. So that's <laughs> and the eight of pentacles in reverse fell on the floor. So yeah, this is you just deciding to not put in any more any more effort, keep to yourself and just not even bother with this anymore. All right, so let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the world in reverse. So now they have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, <laughs> the Fool in reverse. 
Okay, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse, all in reverse here, okay. So there is some denial um, from this person here, okay. They're holding back a lot, and like I said, I feel like it's taking a lot of strength um, from them in order to be able to hold back from communicating. This is somebody who knows that this cycle with you is not complete. It's not over. Um, for them. I feel like it's more over actually for you than it is for them, even if it's difficult for you, which maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, I feel like it's more difficult for them here. They know that this is not done, however, they're still not putting in, um, they're still not putting in some effort to take the initiative either. And again, you know, for some of them, yes, there definitely could be a third party here, but they know that things are not are not done with you. It's not it's not over with you. Doesn't have to be third party, okay? It's just I feel like that is a specific message for some of you. I feel like this person just feels like kind of like just at the moment not really doing anything, not really putting an effort in anything, not even if there is a third party, they're not putting an effort in that connection either but if they're there it's like it's it's kind of like because they were already there so you know that's just the easier thing to do is just is just to stay where you are it's that kind of a feeling okay um and for others if there is no third party but they're just not taking initiative again it's because it's just always easier to stay where you are rather than to make a move taking initiative to them is feeling risky at the moment um for whatever reason let's see that eight of cups Okay, the Eight of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person is really trying to, um, at the moment at least, okay? Um, but that's okay because we have um, judgment coming up in the near future. At the moment, this is somebody who has been walking away from the connection with you and moving very quickly in the opposite direction. However, what that's doing is it's actually very quickly also leading them to um, going back to that Five of Cups energy. So whatever it is that they're trying to leave in the past, like whatever this Five of Cups is from the past, which is that sadness, the sense of loss, like some kind of a grief, which may have been your energy, I feel like now it's going to be their energy. If it was their energy, it's coming back. Like if they were trying to avoid that, like that the world in reverse, like something that has not been completed, which is the connection with you, which is still, there's still grief for that. This person is trying to move away from that, but it's actually leading them straight back to that sadness and to that sense of loss, all right, to that nostalgia, six of cups in reverse, not being able to release the past, holding on to it in a way where it is creating that sadness and that longing so it's not going to last for long um and i mean this would inevitably lead to judgment that's what why all of this is happening so let's clarify judgment the knight of cups and the ten of pentacles in reverse So yeah, I feel like this person is, um, this person is having a revelation here. This is like a wake up call. This is like being able to make a discernment for where it is that they went, what it is that they left and where it is that they went, where it is that they gave this, this, um, offer to, where is it that they, you know, took their affection to, all right, whatever that was, wherever, wherever it is that they are heading away from you and towards that something else, whether it's a third party, whether it's being single, whether it's, you know, whatever, that's actually leading to a lot of instability. And that is what they are realizing. That is what the um, wake up call is that whatever that is, it's not working out for them in the long run. It's not working out for them long term. It's not giving them stability. It's not giving them that 10 of pentacles. It's not making them feel abundant. There's something, there's a lack. So this is making them like reconsider where they offer their heart, where they put their heart, where do they give their affection.
So let's see that nine of cups, which is in reverse here for the potential outcome. Because again, it feels like it's this person. I do not feel like this is you. The chariot and the king of wands. Okay, so this is somebody who is left feeling very unsatisfied, very unfulfilled. Again, it's, it's not you with the energy that I'm seeing here for you. It, this, this is leading somebody to feel very um, unfulfilled. Which is actually then also giving them that inertia, that drive to move forward and to really step into this King of Wands energy. All right, some of you might be dealing with, um, with the fire sign. Could be any sign, but really could be any sign. We have, we have like everything, all right, out on the table here. Um, I'm just kind of getting fire sign here. Um, just standing out a little bit more to me for some reason, okay? So this is somebody who does want to take control of the situation, all right, especially with the chariot and, and the king of wands, like wanting to take the reins in their hands and make things happen, especially when it comes to the fact that they are feeling emotionally unfulfilled. Okay, so maybe this is somebody who gave more importance to um, the material world. So this could even be, um, uh, well, other than finances and career and status, you know, it could even be... Um, I would even put lust here, okay? Something that kind of just satisfied them on the surface, but it didn't go deep, okay? And that's also why this Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Something was left unfulfilled. And that is coming up, like, to the surface big time. This person is really seeing that, and that's what's driving them um, for this change. So, Capricorn... And for you, I mean, I just see you just, you know, still um, being in this energy of not wanting to be attached, releasing control, basically, not taking initiative and just kind of doing your own thing. Right, so final message for Capricorn, if this resonated, and we have the full moon in Pisces balance spirituality and practicality and i feel like yeah that's what this person is doing um if that's even a concern to you because i kind of feel like for a lot of you it's not really anymore or it's not going to be but this person yeah is realizing that you can't just have the 3d materialistic you know whatever um seems to satisfy me on the surface you know there has to be the spiritual aspect as well and that is what would you know be their nine of cups and that is what they are um wanting to move towards in the end so all right, Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.